The human mind loves to make connections. Caught off guard in dreams and daydreams, it juggles images, plays with ideas, makes metaphors. This is me. Dolphins are social animals. Uh, dolphins are different. I, I've got tiger stripes on. I see myself as a jalapeno pepper. Um, and as a whole, we make uh, fine pizza. In this programme, we want to show you ways of solving problems using the power of imagery and metaphor. Wild unconsciousness. What was a badger says to the companion something like, well, that's no problem. There's a crow, I can do crow. But our workplaces tend to favour focused, rational thinking. Words, verbal reasoning. No place for idle daydreaming. Verbal reasoning is very frequently going to engage you in conscious thinking. If you're going to solve a problem, you need to be able to step outside of the limitations of the way of thinking that's created it. So you need to go to a new level. And one of the ways of very effectively doing that is to engage your imagination. I find metaphor reaches such a variety of levels of information that you're more likely to have something creative and fantastic pop up. Bumph as a metaphor, and it creeps up on you from behind. You didn't know you had it in you, but suddenly out it comes. Oh my God, look at all this information. See all this information come together at once. And then, then yes, it's, it can be exceptionally magical. Ian McDermott and Caitlin Walker are both experts at facilitating metaphorical thinking. Caitlin is visiting a small software company in Crowthorne called New Information Paradigms, NIP for short. Caitlin specialises in a technique developed by the American therapist David Grove called clean language. She's particularly interested in training business people to use clean language when working with metaphor. NIP directors Chris Valley and Robert Davis have been collaborating with her for several months. They wanted to develop ways of using metaphor and clean language in all aspects of their company's business. As a knowledge-based company, NIP is under constant pressure to innovate, adapt, communicate and collaborate. Chris and Robert have found that by encouraging their employees to make more use of metaphor, they're able to solve problems more creatively and improve communication with each other and with customers. Ian McDermott trains people to use the techniques of neuro-linguistic programming, or NLP. This is a practice which models many aspects of good communication. Today he's running a seminar in London for business people interested in learning to use associative rather than rational thinking to approach problems. They'll be using metaphor to help mediate between the subconscious and the conscious, the verbal and the nonverbal. So good morning.